I have learned to engage with an audience in a way that I never really had. And I, we did the Renaissance Festival and it was, you know, we had intimate moments with a lot of people like out on the street. Um, but with burlesque, there are these moments that I've had with people in the audience that were the closest I could say to being literal magic. There's moments of connection there that otherwise that they didn't expect that um, they, you know, were kind of blindsided by, but delighted. Um, there's all these interactions with that that made all the difference for me. Um, so yeah, and it's obviously it's something that I miss. And when we did individually wrapped, we had the uh, amazing benefit of a videographer who was so engaged with what was going on and had ideas about like how to move with me. Um, and Amy was an amazing substitute for having an audience that was there. Um, but yeah, that's the best part is really getting into any corner of the audience where you can kind of like read all, you know, that's someone you can kind of talk with a little bit. Um, my favorite so far has been for like my sister's room, room full of lesbians who are just like, you know, they just think that you're gonna stay on the stage and that's it. And like, I'm, you know, at this point, like I'm down to pasties and a thong and like, I'll go out into the audience just like that. And they go, is this allowed? And I'm like, you're not allowed to touch me. I am allowed to come near you. And there's that moment of, you know, I can be a part of this that you see in everyone's eyes. And if they're uncomfortable with that, then, you know, you can, you re, you pay attention and you learn to be like, that's someone who's not comfortable and you can kind of pull back. But other than that, just, especially just swinging under that ballet bar and MSR is always a thrill. So, yeah. <laughs> Last year, um, uh, we were getting ready for the Pride Parade, and it was a very bad day for me. Like, it didn't start out that way, but I was rushed, it was rainy, traffic was terrible, um, and I got prepped and ready to go, um, and we weren't sure if they were going to cancel stuff or not. Um, I was dropping off another performer um, who was going to be there, and I was just going to drop her off, go park, and then catch up. I was stressed to all hell. Like, it was, it was too much. Um, and I had just talked to my family about the fact that um, I was, my husband and I had decided to divorce. Um, and I just texted everyone in the parade and was like, I'm really sorry, I'm not in the headspace to do this. I gotta go back to the studio. I'm gonna go, you know, clean up some stuff there and just, cause we had left just like, there's rainbow tool and makeup and all this stuff that was just out and about that people were gonna come back and get. And it happens, like we, there's this constant green room atmosphere here. Um, but I came back and I just swept and mopped and took care of this place. And it was very much a, you know, I'd interned before here and I'd, I'd done stuff with the studio. Um, and so there was a sense of, you can come back here and you can recollect, and you can take care of the space, you can take care of other performers, um, and just, there isn't, you know, a narrow space of occupation that we have for anyone who's here. We very much have a value for, you know, any, any kind of gift or intention that you're bringing here that is, you know, I just wanna help myself and other people. Um, so this is a place that I've been able to take a lot of pride in because there's so much pride already taken in it. So Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more sweet candy box content and click the bell icon to get notified when we upload more vivacious videos. You can follow us on Instagram at candy box review.